Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ginger Snaps, and today we are continuing on with our story of control. Uh, we are hustling and bustling right along in this game. Uh, we just defeated the director of communications, and we are heading to the hotline chamber. I'm really excited to see if the hotline gives us direct access to the former director now that he's, you know, but uh, we're going to see exactly what's happening, exactly what's going on. I'm really excited and we have changed a few things around um, in the last video in this video as far as lighting goes, it's hopefully makes things look better, but we'll see. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And you'll be notified when I upload. But all that being said, let's jump back into the game. Okay. All right. The hotline can't be far now. Find the hotline object of power. Uh, take this. Low health boost. Okay, well, I definitely have low health. Oh. Wait, then what was back here? Nothing. This was the only way I could go. Duh. Oh, wow. Beautiful artwork. Big speaker boys on the wall. Butte supplement. Okay, let's let's objects of power. We've read the floppy disk. We've read about the service weapon. ID AWE seventeen date nine twenty three nineteen ninety two event location Butte Montana event of summary a spate of disappearances with traces of a home in the city of Butte where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during this incident supplement according to their testimony the agents have been transported from the butte home to a roadside motel named the ocean view motel and casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual c file mot-1 the key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid which was the only thing after a lengthy period of trial and error after putting another mo pulling another motel cord found inside the room they were transported to the oldest house the disappearance of the homeowners and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords have been found to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, blank light cords have been found in the oldest house located in blank and blank sectors. These all have access to the Ocean View Motel, though now, or how exactly... This link operates as blank, but initial hypothesis is clear that... Okay. And then... We have to, Al, Alberto Tomasi's ID. Wait. All... There was something else that I hadn't read. Oh well. Uh, and then multimedia things. The AWE report. Um, we may listen to those or I may just kind of summarize them for you. Hotline. Hotline security log. Trench. Bill Everett, custodian. Trench, trench, trench. Carol Bishop, custodian. Oh. 
It's ringing. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. Light switch cord. Direct use only. <laughs> nope, I just jumped to my death. Never mind, that's not how that works. I wondered. Let's see. Let's see where it drops me. Let's see. Okay. So maybe... Maybe it's just running back through. Hmm. If I have to do this fight again, I swear. Mother fucker, man. my health back, bitch. Where? heard you. I didn't explore any of this area. So this just kind of gives me a chance to come back through here. go through that door just yet. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Ow. Oh. 
boost. Good. Well, maybe it's time to go. It'd be nice to know where the fuck you come you guys keep coming from, but you guys just keep spawning, I think. Okay. Excuse me, sir. This is a Wendy's. You can't do that here. Oh. Okay. All right, take this down. All right, let's take a look at what we just collected too, because we collected a correspondence. Tea time. Uh, from M. Millos. To, to M from J Bozer. Subject, golf on Sunday. Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time is at 7. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about the Tennyson report? Apparently, there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to know, or you wouldn't have happened to heard anything about that, would you? Just see a Sunday gym. Okay. That's been opened. Okay, hotline chamber. Let's see how this bitch works. How the fuck do I get through? Notice ocean. View Motel Casino Entry Point. Cutout light switch. The law of three reply replies. So going back here does nothing. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream weird okay so i can't open the door yet janitor i can ding the bell Oh, so those doors were marked, but those are numbered. Those are symbols. Hello? Anyone here? Upside down black triangle takes us back. So, traverse the motel. I can't open. Oh, there is an open door. The key has a black pyramid on it. So back to the black pyramid room. Let's go. That's cool, so you have to do it three times. Mm -hmm. 
Complete the astral plane challenge. Hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Wasn't super clear. <laughs> oh, shite. Shite, shite, shite. It's fine. I do like this sequence. This is super cool. This loading sequence. Oh, it's so pretty. It's weird. Okay. confused what am I supposed to do I keep forgetting that's my melee. Guns doing a whole lot. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Because that's what I'm doing. Dialed director. I expect weekly compulsive calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. needs a team my management team these people know the secrets of the bureau as well as I do some even better darling Tomasi Salvador Marshall Marshall especially my head of operations she sees right through me she knows I don't like relying on people the only person you should fail is yourself but things change when you become director. A 
I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. Oh my god. It feels god. more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Interesting. Uh, I need to go this way. Damn. Okay. They're back on combat stations. I'm just gonna fuck off. <laughs> That's funny. They can't leave the room. I need that control point. Fetria. Beautiful. Oh my god. I keep hitting the wrong button. I can fast travel now. Hell yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. Let's see, executive boardroom. Sector elevator. Boardroom. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. We're gonna read a few, some of the things that we've got first. Control points. Oh. So these. Interesting. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. 
I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Interesting. So he knew something was coming. Case files, hotline. Hotline OOP3, you acquisition date 89 of 65, hotline chamber, executive sector. Object can be inaccessible for use except for the director. Object is a 16 eras red bake light phone. The rotary dial has been replaced by a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. See Dr. Darling's presentation 11.6 for more information. The object is bound to director trench. Background, the object spontaneously manifested in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. The, a battery of tests were run on the object, including blank and blank, but its origin remains unknown. Initial impressions. Emily Pope, uh, initial encounters with the entity known as a hiss has revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known expect or exception to the fact was the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast with that of the other hiss I have that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She was able to cleanse material and organisms from his corruption. We tested this ability on a his corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seemed to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiological or physi the host's physiology becomes reliant on the his. More work to be done. Please refer to blank for full report. Okay, I just wanted to catch up on those because it's it felt important. But let's do this. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation. You are doing phenomenally well, and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override.
Mission complete, unknown caller. New mission directorial override. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the nearest control point. Oh, okay. So we've completed our first mission. Um, still a lot of questions, still not a lot of answers, but I'm intrigued. I'm really curious. It's this game keeps me wanting to come back for more and I don't want to stop, but I don't want to make these videos too long. So please let me know in the comments um, if you want longer videos. Now, that being said, these are recorded a little bit in advance, so I may, if you guys decide you want longer videos, it'll take uh, a little while for me to see that feedback, but just let me know. I'd be really, really interested. And if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. What is this thing that's with Jesse? That's causing the, the swirl. And if she has this power, so many questions. Sigh. <sighs>